There's a micro trigger. Oh, double, yeah, double. Kokini number one, a uh, silver turbo flasher followed by a pink mini turbo spinner. Awesome little Kokini there. I'm going to get him in the cooler. Uh, fish on. Fish on a naked spinner. Man, what a fight. That's the thing about Kokini, man. They fight like crazy. There we go, that's a chunk right there. Fish number two, right there. Naked spinner. Right there, look at that fish. Awesome. Chunky little, little eater. Fish on the spinner. Fish on the spinner, six feet deep, right up on top. Oh, that's a nice boat. Thank you. 
That's the best fish of the day so far. What a crazy bite. Wow, that's a nice kokanee. We'll take that all day long. Wow, dandy little sockeye. Look at that fish, awesome. Get him with his uh, couple buddies here in the cooler and uh, we'll get the baits back in the water. That top line is starting to pay off. Last few bites have come on that right up about six feet deep. Fish on, fish on the downrigger. There's a pink mini turbo and a large silver turbo flasher. Another quality fish, he, uh, he acted like he didn't know he was hooked. In the net. Fish on the lead core. There's the top shot, so he's about 30 feet away. Ooh, some wicked head shakes down there. They come up pretty peacefully until they see the kayak, and then they go crazy. in my track <laughs> oh my gosh there we go fish of the day I think and that's a limit <laughs> oh man man do they fight that's a nice fish that may be the biggest fish of the day or i got another one right there but uh, very handsome little sockeye beautiful and that is limits and we are on to part two of this adventure let me get this guy stowed away and uh, we will head for the ramp after a super successful morning at stampede things were a lot more challenging in the afternoon I tried to make it to Prosser Reservoir, but the road was a mess, and as a result, I backtracked and decided to fish Boca Reservoir, another lake that I'd never really fished. I spent about three and a half hours in the afternoon chasing trout at Boca, but I never got a bite and I never located any fish on the sonar. After that, it was time to take a break, so we headed over to the Logger Campground near Stampede, grabbed a campsite, Spent some time relaxing and got the gear ready for the next morning on Stampede when I knew I was going to get back into the kokanee. Okay guys, this hybrid lead core rig is armed with a mini willow leaf and a micro trigger spoon in bright orange. Of course, I got it tipped with corn and uh, I'm running that out there maybe 10 feet deep or so. So we'll start out with that. I'm not going to use the downrigger initially this morning but uh, I may end up using it later. This rod is set up with a pink Uncle Larry spinner that was working well yesterday and one of my Sierra Diamondback Dodgers in uh, midnight blue. Fish on the micro twig trigger. Micro trigger and mini willow leaf. The second hookup on that. Hopefully we get this one in the boat.
on the board. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh, they fight so hard. Trout fought that hard, we'd never land them. <laughs> oh man. Combo right there. Micro trigger, mini willow, fish in the net, fish going in the box. Fish on. Fish on the pink spinner. Pink spinner in the blue Sierra uh, Diamondback. Right. See if we can get this guy in a net. Oh man, do they ever fight? That's a good one. That's a big one. Look at that guy. That's a nice fish. Blue Sierra Diamondback and uh, that pink Uncle Larry's. Man, that combination is working today. Had several hits on it. Fish on right there. Wow, 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 wow. I just had a hit on the on the spoon and uh, I was getting out some corn because I was gonna check the, the status of the corn on that spoon and that guy just smashed it. Of course in the kayak I'm using my feet to fight this fish. Got a little breeze here, keeps wanting to turn me. Oh there he is, right there. Another very nice kokanee. Bam, right there. Whew. Awesome little salmon. Getting a nice fish this morning. Micro trigger strikes again. That was a micro trigger. Oh, double. We got a double. That's gonna be my limit right there. That's a nice fish. Off the hook he comes. There he is. That's number five. And I am limited out. And it is 7:30 in the morning. So <laughs> let's see if we got one on this other rod. Nope, he got off. Well guys, we're headed back to the ramp. It's 7.30 in the morning and we've got full limits of kokanee. Pretty much a wide open bite this morning. Um, had a bunch of bites, um, landed a bunch of fish, kept five nice ones for the table. Heck, I'm gonna be home by noon. Um, kokanee, man, they're an awesome game fish. They fight like tigers. If you haven't tried kokanee fishing yet, I suggest you get out to your local kokanee lake and get your kokanee on because they are so much fun to catch and they are so much fun to eat. I can't wait to get home, get these fish filleted and uh, cook up a kokanee dinner. Anyway, I'm Kel Kellogg. I'm out of here for now. I want to thank you for joining me on this High Sierra adventure and we'll be back on the road hunting for more and bigger fish real soon. Catch you right here on YouTube guys. Stay safe and uh, thanks for all the support.